my grandparents ages ago were bothering my wife and myself about the fact that we didn't have kids yet and we said to them well we have to wait because you know we want to establish ourselves a little bit have a little bit of money put away and they said no you don't have to do that because each child brings their own amount of luck with them when they're born so we had our first girl Haley in 1995 in September in November of 1995 she was probably crying I think keeping us up and so I was lying in bed awake thinking about work and the idea then for WebCT came to me and then for sure I couldn't sleep because I had this idea on my mind so my wife kicked me out of bed and I went down and I, I wrote it out I didn't shout Eureka I, I think I shouted alright alright I'll get out of bed I think that was basically it since that sleepless night in November 95 Murray Goldberg's innovation has grown to the point where it's now used by millions of students and instructors at 3,000 institutions in 85 countries WebCT was the world's first widely used course management system now available in 15 languages. Due to WebCT's pioneering status and widespread use, Murray Goldberg is considered a founding father of the modern educational technology movement. Murray Goldberg, recipient of our $100,000 Principal Award. Prior to the introduction of learning technologies, education was much more of a solitary experience. And I don't mean it was always conducted alone, but the group of people that you had your educational experience with was pretty small. It was your core group of friends in a class, and you might be four people in a sea of 250 in a very large class. And so you had access to your group of friends and you had access to your instructor, but that's about it. What WebCT and similar technologies do with respect to communication is turn that community from a group of four or five to a group of 100 or 200 or 300, and maybe even a large worldwide community. And it allows these people to communicate and help one another and teach one another 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What WebCT is basically is a website for your class. And so you can put materials that you want your students to have on your website, along with tests and other kinds of, uh, well, web-enabled sorts of things. And that makes it available to them when you want it to be available to them. And it cuts down the use of paper. But it also allows you to link to other resources on the web and make it a much richer experience than would otherwise be possible. It's like a, an electronic toolkit for an instructor to use in teaching. Um, it has uh, a variety of different components that allow an instructor to develop, from an instructor's point of view, um, a very strong, pedagogically sound approach to teaching. Um, probably one of the biggest parts of WebCT is the bulletin board. The bulletin board is a communication device. The beauty of that is that when a student asks a question, everybody sees the question. And even before the instructor can come and answer, it's often the case that other students will come and answer, and then another student might disagree and answer. And then you get these whole huge discussions that came out of nowhere that couldn't really have existed without an electronic means for communication, and a community of students built. WebCT was not about inventing a technology. It was about improving education. And when you look at Murray and what he was, he's fundamentally an excellent teacher. And he tried to figure out how do I spread that and that ability to others. It fits our way of learning. Um, we're used to the internet, we're used to interacting with people online. S students just today growing up and in high school um, use the web the way that we used to use an encyclopedia. Anywhere, anytime, education for a large variety of learning styles and people. So it just simply allows students however they learn best, to learn best on their own time, in their own way, and to communicate best with the people that are part of their learning experience. It makes the profs who are good and who are organized um, able to teach or present their material in a, in a clear way. For students who are shy or for whom English is a second language and who are thoughtful when they speak, uh, this is an alternate way to express themselves to the class and to the instructor that is easier for them to do and that's for my purpose it's a way to engage the back row of the class. When you have large classes like I do, but 220, 230 students in the class, it does give you a way of getting to them and getting to understand what their difficulties are. So he didn't just start off to create some cool technology, he started off specifically to improve the learning experience of his students and I think that's the hallmark that's uh, behind WebCT and it's one of the many great things about Murray. The innovation for WebCT involves placing a set of incredibly complex tools in the hands of anyone. So for the faculty member that may, meant being able to 
to put a quiz online without having to ask an administrator. For the student, it was the ability to take that quiz at 3 o'clock in the morning in their pajamas. Now I've used it so long, it's just become a second nature. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't know what we'd do without it. I love the fact that the Manning Awards Foundation has this award because I think as Canadians, we need both internally and externally to recognize innovation. Externally it's important because I think Canada has to have that presence on the world stage and this will help do that. I think it's even more important internally because I think it's important to foster a culture of innovation, especially for young people, to be able to show young people that innovation is an important thing, that making the world a little bit better is important and it's rewarded and it's recognized. I think the more we do that, the more we'll find innovators among our young people and the more and more innovations will occur within Canada.